Hello friends, my name is Bharat Juneja and in this video we will see the concept of active cues in Blue Prism. So let's start. Active cues provides a mechanism for the distribution of work amongst groups of resources and the collation of statistics and feedback to enable dynamic responses to changing workload and business needs. So this is the mechanism of the active queues and also the active queue control page allows the monitoring of the queues and the number of sessions currently working those queues as well as providing the statistics with which to make decisions about the workload distribution. In simple words, if we talk about active queues or why do we use active work queues, then we can say instead of creating sessions separately in control room and then moving to the queue management page to see the results, active queues allows you to set a target number of resources which should be working the queue. Blue Prism uses the active queue configuration to determine how to achieve that target. So if you use an active queue, then don't need to run a session manually or by a scheduler. Blue Prism itself will trigger the session for you. It depends upon the target resources on which you wanna trigger the process. And these two are some more See, the active queues are displayed in the control tree on the left of the page by selecting a group or an active queue. The right side of the page is populated with information about the queues in the group. So these are some technical or mechanism definitions of uh, active queues. We will create a active queue. But first see this diagram. So this is our active queue. Okay. So any existing work queue can be a active queue c so this is our active queue and this contains six items or six cases and there are two target resources and both are active and one is available this is time remaining completion time is this one so this is some basic details of an active queue and this is the active queue controller this will control the resources and this is the process and this one is the active resource group means resource group is the combination a uh, group of one, one or more than one resources so there are two resources which are target resources so this active queue will use two resources because both are active see uh, this first case or first item is processing on this actor actress actor on this uh, work machine or on this uh, resource and this second case is processing on this second machine or second resource and this one is available you can see one resource is available but we are targeting only two resources so we can't use this third one because two this is not active and if still it is active we can't use because we are targeting only two resources of this resource group and let me show you this process this is a very simple process. We are just adding two items in the work queue, these two items, and then fetching the items. And if we go to the item, then we will see if item ID is null or not. If this is not null, then we will wait for two seconds and then mark the item as completed. This is the dummy process. And then it will check request stopped and again do the same thing. Okay. Now we are using this work queue active queue demo work queue in this process so when we move to the system tab and on click on this work queue option under workflow section then we can see all the work queues and as soon as you click on any work queue see we can see the properties of that work queue on right hand side but as soon as we click on this we can see one option active queue so we can make any queue as active queue if we select this and we have to assign a process or a tell the process name which use this queue blue prism take input as a process name and resource group on which we want to run the process and the name of the process which we want to run on that resource group so our process is 
first boat so i am giving it here first boat and assigned resource group my group or default group so there a default is the default uh, resource group which is available you can also create your own resource groups for creating a resource groups you have to click here on management and here you can see all the resources so resource groups and resource pools are two different concepts please don't be get confused in these two resource management we have to go to the resource management and here we can see the uh, structure or we can say the file management or file structures so resource group is a folder just right click on it and click click uh, click on create groups you can create your own resource group either you can put this in first board or in my group or in default but in resource pools a resource can be a part of multiple resource pools but a resource can't be a part of multiple resource groups so we can move this only in one folder in one group so let's move this in our first board folder now when we move to the control tab you can see first board because default and another groups doesn't contain any resources so those are not showing here we can see only one board one resource group so now move back to the active queue so we are using this queue in our process so i have made this as active queue you can see i have assigned this first board process and resource group uh, let's change the resource group resource group name is also first board and click on apply and the status of the uh, uh, work queue is running we can pause this as well now go back to control room and here you can see in under the queue management i mean after the queue management tab a uh, queue active queues work available active queue demo only one work queue is available in active queue and this is not available in this queue management so a queue can be either available in queue management or in active queue so this is active queue so this is available here so now let me show you if we move to the control room and see the sessions you can see no no session is running on this port as of now running no session is running now we want to see uh there are 135 pending items so we want to run this process and we have more than 100 resources or more than 1000 resources available and there are lot of backlog available for this work queue or for this process let's say thousands of uh, items are pending and we want to run this process on all the available resources so we can select the target from here see if we increase that uh, because see active session is zero means no no session of this uh, bot is running and resources available is one because i have limited license uh, i have a learning uh, license so i have only one resource so we i am going to target one resource okay as soon as i click enter now we can see active session there is one active session means one session is started you can see here at 13 one one session is started just now so this is how we can start a session see two items are processed also so we can decrease the target resources it will stop the process you can see process is completed for stopping uh, for completing i mean if you want to complete your process then request stop is available in your process otherwise it will terminate your process if you want to run the, uh, run the process again you can uh, increase the target resources you can give the number uh, n number of target resources it doesn't matter but there should be available resources if i give 22 but we don't have 22 available resources because in that resource group only one resource is available 
so this will uh, again trigger the process and these are some these are all the details of queues status is running target resources active session is one so we don't need to move to that session management to check the active sessions we can see from here target resources one and active session is one means one process is running if we want to stop the process on some resources then we can change the value of target resources it will automatically stop the process no need to move to the session management and if you want to stop the process on all the pro all the resources then you can give zero as target resources if you want to check the pending items or the referred means exception items these are the pending items these are the worked means completed items or total items and this is the ETA means uh, this is the time I attend uh, 10 seconds 30 minutes sorry 10 minutes 30 seconds so this is the time remaining which uh, bot will take to process the pending item and this is the estimated timing means at uh, 114 bot will be available bot will be able to process all the pending items let bot process the pending item meanwhile we will go through this active queue requirement so these are the requirements means in order for blue prism to determine how to start and stop sessions on behalf of a queue because blue prism is uh, going to start the session and stop and on the behalf of the queue means if the items are pending or not if the resources are pending are resources are available or not so for this blue prism needs to know two things about the work queue which process works the queue so we have a sign up process to the queue and which resource should be used to work the queue as we assign work, uh, process and resource if this queue is a uh, active queue then this uh, symbol or this uh, logo of the work queue will become purple in color otherwise it will remain blue for example if we make the, uh, if we make this active queue and click on apply uh, let's select the port okay now you can see this the color has changed and this is the uh, process and resource group which uh, blue prism wants to know the information is set in the work queue configuration page in the system section of blue prism client by associating a published process and resource group so we have done this next one is with this information blue prism can find an available resource and create a process on it which will then work the queue so blue, our blue prism is uh, able to uh, trigger the process or uh, creating create a session in order to stop a session which is running on behalf of an active queue a stop request is made to the session allowing it to ensure it doesn't stop in the middle of the transaction so as i informed you if you in decrease the value of a target resources then it will request stop the process and so for this your process should contain request stop logic in the board uh, to avoid any incompleted transaction in order to operate on behalf of an active QA process must meet some basic requirements okay the process must be published before it can be set as a assigned process in the active queue so if your process is not published then it will not up available in that drop down of the assigned processes drop down and assuming that the process contain a main loop the function is, is request stop must be queried using a decision stage within that like generally we use this type of format uh, get next item if item id is empty then stop the process otherwise process that item and then check if a request stop is done by the user or is it and if a user has sent any request for stopping the process then it will stop the process so this is the mechanism used by the active queue controller to stop sessions running on behalf of active queues that it is controlling so no manual intervention is required if you have created a stop request logic in your process
recommended to use resource pools within active queues the active queues controller assumes that each resource represents a single slot for running sessions on behalf of its queue resource pools are transparent in that they appear to be a single resource which can run multiple exclusive sessions and queue controller can't drill down into the member resource to ascertain availability So if you do include a resource pool in a resource group assigned to an active queue, it will treat it as a single resource in the available resources count and it will only have a single session assigned to it. At that point, it will be taken out of consideration for that queue. Create a session. So let's restore our session. See, as we had made this one queue management queue as active work queue, so this is also showing in this list. See all the items of this work queue are processed. When a session which is running on behalf of an active queue completes or terminate, it is taken out of the active session count for the queue and become available again for further session. So if the completion and termination occurs after a stop request has been sent by a queue controller, the target resource value is unchanged. But in case of completion and termination, the target uh, value of target resource will change. And if this is a request, uh, if the session is stopped or complete after a stop request, then a stop request that has been sent by the queue controller, then the target resource value is unchanged. Means there will be uh, two sessions. Uh, there will be. So if the completion termination occurs before any stop request has been sent by a queue controller, the target resource value is decremented. No other session is created to take its place. Let's say if there are five resources and there are five available resources, but and process is running on all the five. But now we want to run the process on only three uh, resources. Then we will decrease the value of uh, target resources, and then active queue controller will stop the process. Means it will request stop. It will try to request stop the process, and uh, that will show session as completed. That will make the status of session complete. And all these characteristics or the headings, name, status, target, source, active sessions available. You can see all the details here. So this is the concept of active vacuum in Blue Prism. Please let me know if you have any doubt.